It would be unusual that you would shoot a film today or a show that you wouldn't use anything that we make. I mean, maybe we didn't do all the filters on it, or maybe uh, we didn't sell the smoke or something, but the chances are some Roscoe product was used on a Broadway show. For 50 years, this is what I've done, and given free time, given time to do anything, uh, I come here. 1958, out of college, into the Army, and I had uh, the opportunity to buy a company. My cousin and I uh, bought Roscoe. The uh, company began in 1910. In 1910, you couldn't buy a colored bulb. The only uh, lamps that were made were clear, so uh, people would dip bulbs, particularly for marquee lights where they wanted them colored. Mr. Rosenstein, who started the company, that's what he sold, dipping lacquers. By 1914, they were making Roscoe gelatin. Theatrical gelatin, which was sheets of color, uh, actually made of jello. You put this in front of a light, you've got a red filter. In uh, 1979, we made an arrangement with a German special effects man. He had developed a smoke fluid that was safe to inhale. At that time, the, both the theater and the film industry were making smoke using oil and it really was dangerous to inhale. He had one which had no oil in it. So we eventually developed machines for it. And in 84, the Academy recognized it as a significant achievement and awarded us a Technical Academy Award. I'm an associate member of the uh, American Society of Cinematographers, and I'm a fellow of the U.S. Institute of Theater Technology. I think I'm the only one in any way associated with the ASC and the USITT who has never lit a show and never made a movie, and maybe that's some sort of reverse uh, distinction, I think. But,